Hello, welcome to Local Rock Talk. I'm your host, Paza. And we have a band called Hunter. Hey. Hello. Hey. What's happening? Not too much. Not too much. Thanks for having us. And thanks for coming on. Of course. So, um, how's things doing anyways? <laughs> Good. Good. We're busy with a lot of shows. Yeah. <clears throat> <laughs> As you can hear, uh, we just got back from a, a really long tour too. We were on the road for about 40 days, going all across the country and Canada, and so we've been staying really busy. But mm -hmm. a lot of stuff coming up in, uh, in September and, and October. So, yeah. Wow, it's been That's good awesome. though. So, yeah. I know I'm glad. I know I booked you guys before you went on the tour and stuff. Yeah, oh, yeah it, was it was a, a while, while ago. Back, yeah. yeah. Well, let's go. Let's go out on so. Yeah. 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 So the tour was good, right? Yeah, it oh, was. Yeah, it was Thanks. Uh, it was epic. It was good. <laughs> I know really you guys fun. went to California, all that stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a lot of states that we've never been to. Yeah. Yeah. It was a good time. I like California a lot. I do too. L.A. is a, a cool little city, yeah. or cool big city, I guess. But. Yeah. I never been there, so. <laughs> yeah, I definitely cool. recommend it. Good to see at least once in a day. Well, all the way I see it, look at the pictures. Yeah. Well, that's kind <laughs> yeah. of the thing I noticed is like when you go there, you've pretty much already seen it in like movies and on TV and things like that. Like everywhere that I went when we were in LA, it was like, oh yeah, I've seen this before. Yeah. Like, you just have to take your own pictures of what everyone else is taking pictures yeah. of. Right. <laughs> I want it's, it my own. it's already mm -hmm. been done. <laughs> nice place though. Good. Palm trees. <clears throat> All right, let's get the questions I have now. Sure. Cool. How did your band start? Hmm. Huh. I feel like you should probably start this question because if I start it, you're going to yell at me. So. <laughs> oh. Well, it's because you get it wrong. All right, well. The origin story. So let's hear your version. Cameron then. and I met in middle school, and we started doing music towards like the end of my high school career. <laughs> and then we had a lot of like original songs written in and I was like I need a drummer and it'd be really cool if uh, we did it full band because I had never been in a band before and he was like I have this friend Connor that's where he comes into mm. play because <laughs> they went to high school together mm. so that's how Cameron met Connor and then we got him in the mix and he was really good at songwriting so mm. then that became <laughs> Hunter so wow. really good at songwriting huh? first and last band I guess <laughs> nice. that I'm gonna be in <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. All right. Um, where is that venue you played at? Oh God. Um, <laughs> Jeez. In the span of our whole yeah, like career. <laughs> in like the tour or like in ever. Well, I'll say around here, whatever. So. Okay. Mm -hmm. So something local then. The best venue we played at locally. I don't know. I really liked one. the foundation room at House of Blues. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We just played there um, f for our first time, and it was a really, really nice room. Right. Well, yeah, I like the the room's really nice, but. Well, there's something bad. <laughs> yeah, there's a few bad things. <laughs> oh, it was good. The sound was tricky, but the room was really nice. Well, the sound was pretty pretty decent. The room was really like decorated very well, but like. Well, that's what I thought he was asking. The the door people were kind of <laughs> not big <laughs> fans of us. Oh, trying to get rid oh, of us. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. But anyway, no, it's, yeah. a, it's a nice place. Yeah, it's a. There's it's a, a good lot spot. of nice venues though. Once you start touring, like. Yeah. There's so many different ones. I feel like there's also a big difference between a like a nice venue that like is decorated well and is like, you know, good sound. And then there's nice venues like um like some of the places we play are kind of like divey bars, but they're the people are so cool. The people are really so it's cool, like you know. Very memorable. So there's nice venues that we like playing and then there's venues that we like for the people and for the, you know, divey atmosphere. Mm -hmm. So I don't know. I think it's a lot of different factors. There's a lot of good places. Um, there's a lot of places in Nashua, uh, which is where we're from, uh, that we play pretty frequently. So, like where? The Lafayette Club. <laughs> <laughs> it's like very divey, but really I awesome. I love that place. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but anyway, yeah. All right. Okay. Um, how did you pick a name for the band? 
<laughs> I wonder. We found someone. We started. You tell, yeah, Hunter. tell your story. <laughs> <laughs> no, we. Her name is Hunter, so it seemed like a good name for the project. But uh, whenever but they, whenever they meet people, they tell people that they started the band Hunter and just kept looking until they found a girl named Hunter, <laughs> which obviously wasn't the out. case. Well, like, we, once you start a band named Hunter, you need someone in the band named Hunter, or it doesn't make any sense. Yeah. Although we went through a few other names. The no. <laughs> well, that was like a... No, don't give it away. We might need to use that. No, that wasn't it. I think it was something else. <laughs> That's a terrible something name. Something bad. <laughs> so yeah, basically it's because it's her name. Yeah. But finding a name is one of the hardest things ever. Yeah, yeah. it really is. Awesome. Yeah. And you added me on Facebook, so mm -hmm. that was kind of cool. Mm -hmm. But those two didn't yet. Not yet, yeah. but I will they now. Don't, they don't use the internet as much as I do. <laughs> I'm, I'm really right good now. at the internet. You could. <laughs> well, we will. But now that we've formally met. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right, cool. Now, um... Just a big good one. What equipment do you use for a live set? Oh, I like it's these kind of questions. It's all you guys. Yeah, because this is what they do. They run sound. Yeah. So when we bring our own <coughs> sound, yeah. it's usually just... Yeah, like what well, equipment means, do like, you use? Like drums and guitars and oh, okay. amps and yeah. that kind of like thing. Like name a lot of... Do you want to start? Right. Go um, this way. So for an amp, I use a Vox AC15 mm -hmm. and a, a Taylor electric guitar. Yeah. Although you should talk about what you started with because you used it for yeah, a while. Yeah, it's, it's evolved. I yeah. used to have or still have and used to use um, like a 67 Fender reverb amp and I it's a little too valuable to keep lugging around. Yeah. Just like we used it a lot. And, so and the Dan Electro. Yeah. And the Dan Electro guitar. Both got from a friend of mine so yeah. eventually I had to kind of retire them mm -hmm. and get too some risky. of Too risky. They're a little yeah. too like too old. <laughs> too delicate. Yeah, too delicate. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. um, nice stuff, though. Uh, for me, I usually, I tour around with, um, it's a, uh, what is it? A Wait, Pearl well, X? start at the beginning. Start with the kit you used on, like, before you go stay. Well, which one? Because there's been a couple. Your the dad's red the red one. Oh, or the, uh, took horns. I want to start with, like. The original red one. Because there were three, there were three drum kits. Oh, what was that drum kit? I don't even Ludwig. know. Oh, Ludwig. yeah, it was a yeah. Ludwig, yeah. yeah. So uh, for a while, I was playing this like really old junky Ludwig kit. It's like just so like bad. a '90s like Chinese made, just like junk kit. But it was just really well, old. And I played that on our original demos in this band. Actually, um, my Which friend ended had bought up it. This. He bought it at a yard sale for like a hundred bucks, the whole drum kit. So that tells you it's like really not very good. But um, I only used that for about a year, and then I started using my dad's kit, which is a um, a Pearl Export. Uh, it's a little nicer, still kind of a cheap <coughs> kit, but. Uh, it's good for touring because if it gets damaged or like stolen or something happens to it, it's like not the end of the world. It's not that valuable, you know. I didn't really spend a lot of money like upgrading it or putting anything on it, so it's just kind of like good beater kit. Um, I also have a Yamaha Absolute Maple kit. Um, that's kind of my studio kit that I record with, and that that one's really nice. Mm. That one I don't like take out of the studio, but yeah. yeah so that's what I use. Um, in terms of like microphones and stuff like that, we usually just use I'll like. Do that. Okay. So for what mine, when the van first started, I used a Super 55, which is like people recognize it as like the Elvis microphone, the really old school big cage oh, one. Yeah. And I was like known for it for a while, but at the end mm -hmm. of our shows, we smash everything and I smashed the microphone and it finally broke. <laughs> yeah. So. And the warranty was up on it, so now I just use a plain it's one. It's been retired. Yeah. A, a plain one what? <laughs> a Beta 58. Yeah. Good, good a memory. A Beta 58. Yeah, those we are We all use those now. Share microphones are cool. Yeah. Cool. But, but yeah, so that's pretty much like a rundown of our gear. We yeah. use QSC uh, like speakers when we like run our own sound, too. Which is but, a lot of the time. Yeah. But yeah, that's. I think that pretty much sums it up. Awesome. All right, um, this, I found one. What is some of the music you do want listening to? Do you want to start, Ken? <clears throat> start that way, yeah. When I was a boy, <laughs> um, I, when I first started, like, getting into music for, like, my own taste, it was 
um, like 70s rock, like Leonard Skinner and Led Zeppelin and ACDC and <laughs> things like that in Boston. and Just some good old rock yeah, and roll. Yeah, the classic <laughs> rock, guitar rock. Yeah. So that, that was like the first introduction that I started learning guitar to all those songs. Mm -hmm. So that was like my sort of very beginning of music and guitar starting together. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's funny because like when I got to the age where I actually started wanting to listen to my own music, because when I was really young, you know, I'd listen to like whatever my parents had on or like whatever my cousins listened to or whoever. Um, but I think that's what I asked. Well, I, I mean, that's those like, answers are kind of just like standard. But like once I get to like once I was like 12 or 13, I started listening to like a lot of uh, like metal and punk and that kind of stuff. And that sort of started me um, with music, I think. Uh, prior to that, it was like he said, kind of just like old school radio rock and roll, rock. I guess, just kind of like the radio hits. But yeah, punk and metal is definitely my earliest, um, like my own stuff that I actually sought out and listened to for myself. But yeah, but now we all listen to so many different things, you mm -hmm. know, it's branched out a lot since then. But. Um, I just grew up on everything. My dad <laughs> played me a lot of Bob Dylan growing up as a kid like really young. Um, other than that, I guess the weird classics, stuff that people don't consider classics, like Warren I didn't listen Zivon. to anything like that. Warren Zevon, I listened to a lot of uh, him. Warren Zevon is a classic. He is, but not like ACDC. You guys both grew up on that. I had like, no idea. I was yeah. like the you Blind Melon and like <laughs> Mungo <that>? Jerry, <laughs> all those bands. Yeah. Awesome. We all have very eclectic tastes. I know, we're <laughs> weird. They've only gotten more eclectic. I know. Yeah. All right. Okay. Um, what kind of logo you have for, for the band? Logo? Yeah. I don't think we have one. No. Yeah. I don't think we have one. For a while, we just had like a big H. Like we did just use the H, but that's like already used by, I think, another clothing brand or something, so we don't have one. Yeah. And then we switched to like the Marlboro font one for a while. Right. And now, actually now we do have one that someone designed for us, the 60s one. That's on our backdrop now. Oh, the, yeah. The, right. Well, that <laughs> font. I yeah. think that's the closest we have to the logo. I, I think so too, but we never like use one. So kind of oh. like the the font and the logo for our backdrop for shows is kind of just like um, a hypnotic black and white kind of swirl. I guess that's like the closest thing we have to a logo at the moment. But well, with the name on it, yeah. With the name, yeah. Because it's an original font. But, um, but yeah, I don't know. We've never really been like much of a logo band, unfortunately. Yeah. We need to like find an artist to like come up with something that like... Well, it's because our merch doesn't involve it. Right, like, but it could. It used to be the mermaid. Right. Some sketch. Yeah, that was a logo for a while. It was. Yeah. But that was 2015. That was back in the day. Yeah. Cool. All right. Um, when did you first start playing music? Uh, you were self-taught or did you take classes? <laughs> Do you want to? We'll just keep yeah. going in this we'll order. start this way. Nice. Um, so I started playing guitar 2007. Jeez. So a while ago, <laughs> almost <laughs> 11 years ago. And Whoa. Um, yeah. And I took music classes in school after I already started. Um, but I actually, I started taking guitar classes pretty soon after I like, bought a guitar on my own. But I never took lessons on the outside, so essentially self-taught. Awesome. Yeah. Not 100%, but no one's really 100%. Yeah, were no you guys 100%. in class? Hmm? Well, were you guys in a class together? Yeah, we were in a guitar? jazz class but in that's school. Pretty self taught. But I didn't like take private lessons or we were in like a jazz improv class. It wasn't like a jazz lesson. Yeah. yeah. But um in any case, I guess I'll go next. Yeah. Um so I started playing uh my dad's a drummer, so I started drumming just like watching him drum. Maybe I was eleven or twelve, something like that. Um and he would play something and just be like, Oh yeah, like have fun just you know, replicate that drum beat on this kid <laughs> and just like play around with it. So I just like, I like the freedom of being able to make a lot of noise on the drums. So I just, I don't know, I really like that from a young age. 
Um, I also started playing guitar around that age, maybe like 12 or 13. So I got really into that for a while. Um, I did actually take some private guitar lessons for a couple months, uh, <laughs> which is weird because I'm the drummer in this band. Yeah. And I've like pretty much <laughs> only been drumming since then. But uh, yeah, I mean, aside from that, it's just like a couple of classes which I had in school with him in high school. Uh, and that's pretty much it. So just drums and guitar when I was like 11 or 12 <clears> and then, yeah. I wish my school had guitar lessons. Or not lessons, but like anything to do with it. I mean, really our classes in school were like... There was a guitar class in our high school, which I took. I didn't take that one. Yeah. Weirdly enough. I think enough. that schools that should time. have that. Yeah. yeah. Like, like basic instrumental. It wouldn't have been as hard to... Schools with good funding have that usually. Yeah. yeah. That's... But, um... It's important though. Yeah. But for me, um, I learned guitar and harmonica through YouTube. The best and teacher. Yeah. singing, <laughs> I ended up doing theater at my high school the last year or two. I was in some of the, the musicals, so that's all I got. But I wasn't much of like a lead role. I was always in the background, but it still helped me like hear how other people sing and project like yeah. solo. So I was like, wow, if they can do it, then I'll do it. Yeah. And also, it's probably worth pointing out that we all sing and play a couple oh, of other... Oh, yeah, yeah. They, like they all, do lead as well. Yeah. And we all do, like, a little bit... Like, we can all get by on, like, a keyboard and, like... We all have very rudimentary yeah. skills on other I wouldn't say. I, I don't know theory, so I can't really do what well, you, you guys do. you can play do. a couple songs on keyboard. <laughs> but, uh... I guess so. But, yeah, we all kind of, like, <laughs> very well. play around on different instruments. So... Cool. Yeah. All right. How do you choose your merch? I usually take care of that. Yeah. Um, you mean how do we choose what we want to like make? Yeah, like how white makes the shirts and stuff like that, you know? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so for that, we have a very weird merch setup because we have a lot of random things that most merch tables don't have. Like we have cassettes and lighters and just like little trinkets like that. that mm -hmm. And most books. bands will have t-shirts. Like we, our lyric book that usually like is, is in a CD, you know, you can take it out and read it. Yeah. We have ours rolled up like a message in a bottle, just stuff like that. It's um, mm -hmm. gimmicky, I guess, but it's, it's fun. I, I enjoy making it. So I usually end up doing that. We handmade some of our shirts. For that yeah. yeah. We're a very DIY band. For better or for worse. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much everything. Like literally everything is merch. yeah, even like recording and everything. It's yeah. all DIY. Cool. Yeah. All right. Well, we did talk about the tour anyways. Because mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't have to ask that question. Yeah. <laughs> you can if you want. Yeah, we'll <laughs> go into more detail. We can talk about it more. Detail, yeah. <laughs> Do you want 40 <laughs> days of detail? Do you want to know anything about the Get all night. <laughs> <laughs> we slept in a lot of Walmart parking lots. That was In the weird. middle of the desert. Yeah. <laughs> it was like 120 oh, degrees. Oh, yeah. Why don't we... we should well, wait, we might have another question. Okay, yeah. Sorry, we're, we're Sorry very chatty. <laughs> what other bands have you played with? <laughs> That's a lot of bands. Oh, <laughs> oh boy. <there's> a scroll. <laughs> uh, we played with probably every single band. Ever. Like, local, to anyway. Exist. Like, probably every band in New England. I don't even know. We've, we don't want to leave any out, but we'll name us a few. We played with a lot. Yeah. In this area, like almost all local. of them. Well, maybe just like we could name drop a couple that we're like friends with or something, just to narrow it down. There's so many. We're friends with all the ones we've met. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> Um, most most of them around here. Yeah. Um, and like you know, we just it, there was just the New England Music Awards. Yeah. Like I walked into that room, and I knew like almost everyone there, which is insane because. Which I know one person, you know. Liz. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah Liz we Mills. played with her. <laughs> I love her. Yeah. We're playing with her on November 9th. Yeah. Cool. She's cool. In Lowell, she is really cool. And uh, who else is on that show? Flight of Fire. Flight of yeah. Fire. Flight of Fire. I think we played a show with them a couple of times. Oh yeah, and we, we're all in the same competitions too. There's like a ton of local stuff that yeah, we all. What was it? The. It was like Battle of Bands last or Last Band, Band Standing, Standing or something. something. Yeah. yeah, something like that. But yeah, we played with so many bands around here. Yeah. 
Oh, a lot of good bands. There's like too many. That's why I don't want to name any because I'll feel bad. Any, yeah. Because if yeah. you name one, then people are going to be like, they didn't yeah. name us. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> right. Anyway, support the Hunter Band. Yeah. Yes, please. Uh -huh. Get them the likes. Go on their YouTube channel if they have it, all mm -hmm. that stuff. Thank you. Thanks. Yeah, we need definitely. That as much uh, as we can get. Definitely check out our music. Yeah, and we check play so many shows, so whenever you're free, you should go. Yeah. yeah. And subscribe to a local Rock Talk YouTube channel. Oh, yes, that too. That, yeah. And I have a Crucial. group too. Oh, do you? Yeah, local Rock Talk group. Oh, nice. And a page, so. Okay. And that's all on Facebook then? Yeah. Oh, Both cool. of those Facebook. on Facebook. Yeah. Okay. And YouTube. And YouTube. Yep. Yep. Cool. Because the older one of YouTube channel that got myself because what happens with Peter and stuff. Right. So I right, make right. a new channel and stuff. Mm -hmm. So. Fresh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Fresh channel. I like <laughs> yeah. that. Yeah. <laughs> Still the same name, but I, uh, I have a new one. So right. I need to try to get. So if I have seven subscribers, there, I'm going to get a lot more. Mm -hmm. Maybe yeah, I'll send you a link to share it and stuff too. Yeah, yeah. sure. And I'll, I will. Yeah. Yeah. When it's Definitely. Up, yeah. yeah. I'll set the link later tonight. Okay. Cool. Awesome. So you say you have one album so far, right? Two. Two. Oh, but there's one that we sold out of, and I ended up getting you the last copy. So that's what I have, and it's the physical <laughs> one with the track listing Ooh. on the back. Yeah. <laughs> no, I was pretty well, excited because like I messaged him that it was, because we don't sell it anymore. Yeah. So I was like, oh, yeah, I'll burn you a copy. And then I was like, oh, my God, I have one in my car. Right. <laughs> ah. So, yeah, this is like our original album. This, this is, is our claim to fame. We only have like... <laughs> 20 of them left that aren't sold. And we're just well, we're them saving them in yeah. case we have kids and then we're going to give them to them yeah. <laughs> to make money <laughs> off them on eBay. <laughs> or just hopefully going to get famous and then sell them for a whole lot later on. Wait, <laughs> we can't talk about that. We'll talk about Definitely what? not sell <laughs> We'll give them away for free for a lot of money. <laughs> <laughs> we'll edit that out. <laughs> um, but yeah. Yeah, so. we, have, we have two and the other one we just came out with in April, mm -hmm. in April, April 13th of yeah. this year. And then we had the tour kind of promoting that during the summer. So. Yeah, it's all happening very fast. Yeah. And then another tour coming up like this weekend or whenever. This weekend, yeah. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. Keep him busy. Very. Yeah. So how are you doing on your Facebook page? Good. Good. <laughs> A lot of people uh, checking it out. Clicking the like button. You yeah, know? <laughs> yeah, we finally got past like three thousand. Yeah, but like past that too. Oh, three thousand one hundred and six. Three thousand one. <laughs> Look at that last six in there. Three thousand one. <laughs> no, our our Facebook page has actually been picking up. Yeah, I think that's usually something that people mention a lot is that we're very active on social media, but. Mm -hmm. Cool. All right, so, so that's the CD that you have? Yeah. yeah. You want it? <laughs> Take a look at Go it. Go Oh, he wants it. <laughs> <clears throat> Ten songs. Cool. So that's the CD, guys. There it is. Check it out. <laughs> it's a pretty cool album cover. I'm a fan of that yeah. one. That's cool. We spray painted a guy's boat for that. and then, Yeah, uh, that's me. We spray couldn't wash it off. Oh, that's you? Yeah. Yeah, and that's not our boat either. And we couldn't get it off. We had oh. this plan to wash it off quickly before returning the boat, oh. and it wouldn't come <laughs> off. And we ended up sending them a copy of that album, and they were like, that's OK. Yeah, So, cool. but we did ruin their boat. Well, it was just like <laughs> a little bit. It just smudged now. everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> it's just like red spots. <laughs> the boat just <laughs> melted. <laughs> Hopefully they can uh, make some money off that one day. All that right. Part. I said we have a good amount of time to show us stuff. Yeah. You, okay. know, cool. you know, I was a little late putting the sign up and stuff. Yeah. Hey, it worked out great, though. Yeah, we don't want to keep the other band waiting too yeah. long. So. Yeah, thanks for having us. So Sorry about it. I say that is it for this episode on Local Rock Talk. Yeah. Rock on. So um, just um, support <laughs> the, the Hunter. Yeah, if they have YouTube, subscribe to it, all mm -hmm. that stuff. Yep. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks for watching Look at Rock Talk. Till next time. Rock See on. See you later. <laughs>
watching Over Rock Talk with your host, Paul Zabrilli. Until next time, keep on rocking.